the important relationships in my journey from the spinal cord injury, my wife primarily, uh, and my children, you know, they are obviously the, the sort of touchstones for everything for me. Um, they've been important. But I did decide that some people were, the reality was they were just emotionally quite hard work for me to deal with and that to some extent I, I didn't feel like I had the, the emotional capital to invest in that at that stage. My teachers, I, I feel like they're, they're kind of one step ahead. They've, they've been further than me in terms of dealing with difficulty or, or pain or whatever it is that um, or ability to stay calm in the situation. I feel pretty lucky with the friends I had were very supportive. Um, they now help me with my daughter. I can easily call on them. I can say, oh, I've got to go to rugby tomorrow. Can you come and babysit? Or when I got out in, I got out in hospital in November and then that next year I played. I think being around, not that being in a wheelchair means that you have to associate with people in wheelchairs, but it's no different to just being part of a, a, a book club or something where you all have common interests. And you do learn things that you know, the OT won't teach you or the physio won't teach you and you see them do something. It's like, oh, how do you do that? Oh, well, it's easy, just do this. And next minute you're I don't know, transferring differently or they teach you something you didn't know you could do and I feel pretty lucky in that sense because um, I do hear a lot of people just, they just lose all of their friends and that that would be really hard. Well actually number one is my, my wife, Margaret, my present wife, there's no doubt about that. Um, yeah, she's been, to use a hackneyed phrase, she's been a godsend. Um, she's been incredibly supportive. And um, yeah, we we we, go, we fit together very well. And the other relationships that have been incredibly incredibly important for me are the ones that I've made with other people with disabilities. Not a terribly huge circle of friends with with disability, but big enough, um, and they are truly good friends. Look, my mates, are, my friends are um, really outdoorsy kind of people. Um, they love camping, they've got their motorbikes. They're, yeah, they, they've, they've been a really good support network. We've been, I bought a camper trailer, so I could go away with them and they tow it for, for me and set it up. And yeah, I think over the 10 years, I lost one really good friend. It can be quite daunting. Um, I was lucky enough to get an assistance dog though when I got home. It was probably six months after I got home. Um, so yeah, got had Barney with me, which kind of got me through. Going back, I had a wonderful wife, a beautiful wife, who gave me amazing support and encouragement. And I met people who I learnt from, from not just talking to them, but listening to what they said and what they did, whether they were talking about getting in their car, and then back then, things were so very, very much different. Um, but I was self-conscious of being in a wheelchair and I felt apprehensive about going places and doing things because people looked at you and um, that took a while to adapt and adjust to and in hindsight we all look at one another whether we're in a wheelchair or not. I've met three people in my life that's changed my life, four people yeah, first of all my uncle, Uncle Colin and my trustees yeah? Bruce Collette, Andrew Chalk and uh, Mel Morrison. Those four people have been, yeah, and been um, yeah, the pillars of, uh, of my, uh, like, talk about support, friendship, you know, mentorship, guidance. Yeah, I, I, I hit the jackpot, right, yeah. So um, my brothers and their families, my own kids and my wife, it's family and friends is, is where I get the bulk of that meaning. I'm fortunate to have a beautiful wife and, a, and two beautiful young boys and a, a family and I'm, I'm thankful for what I do have as opposed to focusing on the things that I can't do or you know, that, that are missing because there's so much more that's good in, in the relationship and in our family that's worth focusing on. I wouldn't change my injury happening 
for anything because that's, you know, the relationships that I've built from this and, and I didn't really have a relationship with my mum before and now we're just inseparable um, and, uh, you know, I wouldn't give that up for anything. I lost heaps of friends when I had my injury. People that I've been friends with and lived with for six years that never even visited at all um, and didn't even call. So it kind of made me rethink that whole, you know, what's important to me when I look at friends or best friends. It just made me rethink those kinds of friendships, keeping people that really know me for who I am and that actually contribute to my lifestyle.